Hello everyone, Waddling Duck here with the trader values for gold per second for each different map size. In my prior video, I covered my methodology for these tests, however, I had only tested on the gigantic map. Turns out that there are different gold formulas for each map size, so I've gone back and retested each size. This makes traders far more productive on smaller maps compared to what I had included in my original video. The graphs in this video are on the base gold rates and do not include the 20% bonus from neutral markets. Here we have the micro map size. As it turns out, trader rates from max corner to corner distance get very close to the gather rate of a fully upgraded villager. With the neutral market bonus, which is the only way to trade on a micro map, the traders will exceed the fully upgraded villager. Here we have the small map size. All traders will exceed an upgraded villager, and Mongols can get nearly double the rate of a villager. A quick note here is that for the Mongols and the Abbasids, I simply combined the other resources with the gold to compare the rates. While this gives you the total resources per second for the traders, it's not an exact comparison to villagers, as food and wood rates will differ from the mining rate. Here we have the medium map size. You'll notice that on each of these graphs I have the Mongols listed twice, with and without the yam speed boost. I tested this, and the gold per trip remains constant, so the 15% speed boost translates to 15% more resources from your traders. Here's the large map size. And here's the gigantic map size. And finally, here is a comparison of the base trader gold per second for each map size. In general, corner-to-corner -corner trading will give slightly more gold per second as you increase in map size, at the cost of larger and less frequent gold deposits due to the longer travel time. The gigantic map gives 20% more gold per second than micro maps. However, the small map size is a bit anomalous as it gives significantly more gold than either micro or medium maps. It's also worth noting that there are inconsistencies in the low distances on my graphs, as traders can carry fractional amounts of gold, but the UI only displays integers. This can have a large impact at low distances, and I did not take the time to determine the exact fractions given. I have a few tips to maximize your trader's efficiency. First, gold is generated strictly based on the distance between markets, and not on the distance traveled by the trader. So aim for a direct route whenever you can that does not have the trader circling around obstacles such as forests or mountains. This will reduce the gold per second you receive. Next, the gold received is based on the distance at the time the gold is deposited. This can be abused to cut your first trip with each trader in half. Simply train the traders at your market placed immediately next to the destination market. When the trader picks up the gold, change its home market to your market in an opposite corner and send the traders on their way. Use the W and Q hotkeys to reassign home markets and commence trading, as right-clicking without using hotkeys will often cause the traders to go idle and stop trading. This mechanic can also be exploited in team games to double the amount you receive from traders. If both players place a market in each corner, when your trader deposits gold, you can pick up from the market immediately adjacent and swap which market is the home market. You'll get the full amount of gold each trip, but the trader will only have to travel one way each time. Mongols can also potentially abuse these mechanics somewhat by moving their market, as the gold is determined by distance at the time of drop-off. You can build your market in your base, train a few traders to get them headed to the destination market, and then move your market to the corner where the traders will return them. By getting the traders moving before you move the market in the first place, you can probably gain a few hundred gold when you first start trading. Thank you for watching, and I apologize for being only partially correct in my first video on this topic.